Are deadlifts bad for your back? So are you on a workout journey here and you've heard all about deadlifts? Deadlifts are so bad for your back. Deadlifts are dangerous. Why are deadlifts considered a dangerous exercise? Well, my name is Anthony. I own AB Fitness Center, which is a personal training facility. And I'm here to tell you that deadlifts are one of the best exercises that you can do for your entire body to tone, shape, and totally change the way your body looks. So yes, Deadlifts can be very, very dangerous. However, they are one of the best exercises that you can do to totally change everything. So let's talk about real world scenarios here. So a deadlift, for those of you that don't know what a deadlift is, a deadlift is essentially picking things up off the ground and standing up with it. We do this in real life all the time. Think about it. How many times do you pick up things off the ground, groceries off the out of the car or picking up your kids off the floor, picking up junk off the ground. You're essentially deadlifting a lot of times throughout the day. When we deadlift, we're utilizing what's called our posterior chain or everything from my ears behind. So I'm utilizing a lot of muscles when I do that. The issue is, and where deadlifts become very dangerous is, people have very weak posterior chains. And that's just from normal activity. Think about it. If you sit at a desk all day long, I'm in this position. I'm in a rounded position. So all of these muscles of the front of my body are very, very tight. And all of these muscles of that posterior chain are very, very weak and elongated. They're kind of overstretched. And what happens is people actually end up walking around like this. So by doing movements like the deadlift, we help to improve these posterior muscles behind our ears to strengthen everything up and to give us better posture. So is it true? Are deadlifts bad for your lower back? And the answer is no, when done correctly. That is the key statement right there. I think most people get hurt when they do deadlifts because they bite off more than they can chew. The deadlift is one of the most technical exercises that there is, meaning that the technique for deadlifts is, has to be very, very skilled. It's one of the hardest movements to actually teach people. And it's one of the most technical lifts that you can actually do. It's not just bend over, pick the weight up, and stand up <laughs> as it looks. It's not that way at all. It takes a lot of time to master the skill behind the deadlift. The biggest mistake that we see people make when they do the deadlift is when they pick stuff up off the ground, they're completely rounded. Their spine is completely rounded, and their back actually looks like a question mark. It's kind of a funny scenario to look at, but their back actually looks like a question mark, and they have rounding at the lower back and the upper back. And that leads to all types of problems because now you're carrying over your bad posture to that movement. And that's where it becomes very, very dangerous. So the biggest mistake we see with deadlifts is actually that rounded lower back and that question mark looking thing where they're just kind of yanking the weight off the ground doing that. The best form cue that we've ever taught, and I have a lot of cl trainers, clients who come to me who've actually become trainers training with me because I've changed their life. So one of my best clients who became one of my best trainers actually made the best cue and I've taken this and I stole this from her because I thought this was a great cue. The best way to improve your deadlift form is to do what's called the angry gorilla. I know it sounds really weird, but think about it. When a gorilla walks around, they don't walk around like this, right? They don't walk around slouched. They walk around with their chest up. The angry gorilla, their chest is up, their posture is in a perfect position when their chest is up. Their head goes neutral, you know, they're not looking down. Angry gorilla, they stand upright. So whenever you're gonna do the deadlift, think about the angry gorilla. You get in position, angry gorilla, everything goes in the perfect place, and then boom, you stand up and rip that weight up off the ground. So that's the best <laughs> cue you could use. So if you're having trouble with your deadlifts, just think about the angry gorilla, and everything will be fixed, okay? And then you can thank us later for that one. There are some variations to the deadlift that are the best, all right? And my favorite one, my favorite form of the deadlift, I'll get into that in a second. So the best variations that we have, you have the trap bar deadlifts, you have the kettlebell deadlift, which is a good beginner one where you're learning how to actually pick up a kettlebell off the ground properly with that angry gorilla posture. Um, you have the stiff leg deadlift and the regular barbell deadlift. So which is my favorite one? 
My favorite form of deadlift to use, it's going to give you the best bang for your buck where you're going to utilize a lot of muscles, your form is going to be the best, and everything is going to be tighter and has the most carryover to every other lift, is going to be the trap bar deadlift. The trap bar deadlift allows for you to be in that neutral position or perfect place where, with your stance and also get in that angry gorilla position easier. When you have the bar in front of you on a deadlift, you have to kind of fight that bar to get in position. You can't pull those arms back as much as when you're in a trap bar position. So the trap bar is my favorite form of deadlifts. Now, how often should you be deadlifting? How often should you be doing deadlifts since they are such a great exercise? You should be doing deadlifts one to two times per week. I've been on different programs where I've done deadlifts four times a week, and that was completely brutal. The reason why one or two times a week works the best is because these muscles of these posterior chain take a beating when we do deadlifts and they those muscles also take the longest to recover from exercise so you don't want to be going into exercises where you're kind of sore and beat up you want to be fresh almost every time you come in so doing deadlifts once to twice a week is ideal to improve on the deadlift and to get the most bang out of it so if you don't want to get hurt doing deadlifts I would say stick with the trap bar version. Think about that angry gorilla and do trap bar deadlifts one to two times a week, depending on your ability. If you find that twice a week is too much, cut it back to once a week and watch the progress that you'll make. Anthony, AB Fitness Center, and I'll catch you on the next one.